okay this reaction uh, this is something that is to test test of alcohol so question number 10.47 So this question is related to test. So question says, so how would you simple chemical test is used to distinguish between the following pair of compound in each case describe what would you observe and first is let us say you have 1 butanol. So this is 1 butanol CH3 so let me make this. 1, 2, 3, 4, OH. So this is 1 butanol and 2 butanol. And 2 butanol here you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I should have here hydrogen. So basically, 2 butanol is this OH, but I should to place hydrogen here because I have 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon. Uh, let me show you CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2OH. This is 1 butanol and this is CH3, CH2, CHOH. This is 2 butanol. How will you differentiate between these two compounds? What kind of reaction you will use to differentiate these two alcohols? Now see this is a basically 2 degree alcohol and this is a 1 degree alcohol. Did you remember any test that can be used to differentiate between 2 degree alcohol and 1 degree alcohol? Yeah, Lucas test that is ZNCl2. So Lucas test we can use and this reagent is ZNCl2 plus HCl. So this is the reagent that is generally used, Lucas reagent ZNCl2 plus HCl. If you have a primary alcohol, uh, it will not react al at all. So primary primary alcohol does not give Lucas test, so no reaction. You have secondary alcohol, this gives Lucas test in 1 to 5 minutes. So cloudy precipitate that will be formed, so solution becomes cloudy. Solution becomes cloudy and it takes around 1 to 5 minute in 1 to 5 minute. Are you getting? Now let us discuss the B part. So if you have a primary alcohol and secondary alcohol, how will you differentiate? You can use Lucas test, ZNCl2 plus HCl. Primary alcohol will never give the Lucas test, no cloudy precipitate. But if you have a secondary alcohol, 1 to 5 minute there will be cloudy precipitate. Now let us discuss the B part. So I think you are able to see this one. So B part says we have 2 butanol. So this is 2 butanol. OH CH2 CH3 2 butanol and 2 methyl 2 butanol. CH3, CCH3, 2 methyl, 2 butanol. This one is easy. Can you give me the test? Now, this is a 2 degree alcohol and this is a 3 degree alcohol. Are you getting? So, now what reagent should you use? Again, you can use Lucas test. In this case, tertiary alcohol gives immediate less than even 1 minute and you have secondary alcohol that will give 1 to 5 minutes. So you can use Lucas test. So you can use Lucas test. Secondary alcohol 1 to 5 minutes and this tertiary alcohol immediate. Immediate. So immediate cloudy precipitate and this will take 1 to 5 minutes to make the solution cloudy. Are you getting a Any other reagent? We can also use oxidation reagent like H2CRO4 
वन कैन ऑल्सो यूज एच टू सी आर ओ फोर दिस इज बेसिकली क्रोमिक एसिड एच टू सी आर ओ फोर नॉट टर्सरी एल्कोहल इज नॉट गेट्स ऑक्सीडाइज सो नो ऑक्सीडेशन नो ऑक्सीडेशन नॉ सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल कैन गेट्स ऑक्सीडाइज नॉ इन केस ऑफ सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल दिस विल ऑक्सीडाइज एंड द कलर ऑफ एच टू सी आर फोर विल चेंज एंड बेसिकली एस सोल्यूशन बिकम्स ब्लू ग्रीन बिकॉज ऑफ द this form cro3 so this becomes solution becomes blue green because of the reaction this gets oxidized so solution becomes blue green so this can also be used as a test so either you can use lucas test or you can use h2cro4 that is chromic acid as a test in case of chromic acid you will have a blue blue green solution becomes blue green in case of lucas reagent you will have a precipitate now let us discuss c part this says cyclohexanol and cyclohexene so you have cyclohexanol this is easy you have a cyclohexanol and you have cyclohexene how will you differentiate these two compound now you can give me the answer for this one this is easy so if you use lucas test this is a secondary alcohol this will give positive lucas test this will not give positive lucas test so either you can use lucas reagent so cloudy so this is a secondary alcohol so it becomes cloudy in 1 to 5 minute and there no change you're getting or not one can even use bromine water so if you use bromine in ccl4 this will not change in color so bromine will not react with oh but here you will have so color of bromine will disappear so color of bromine br2 becomes colorless because of the alkene can react with bromine becomes colorless are you getting and uh, let us discuss the next one d i think you have copied this one so let us say d now this time you have this molecule cyclohexanol and cyclohexanone how will you differentiate these two compound once again this is a secondary alcohol it can get oxidized and it cannot get oxidized this is already oxidized even you can use lucas test so you can use either lucas so if you use lucas test this will be form 1 to 5 minute in this case there is no reaction even you can use h2cro4 chromic acid in this case you have a secondary alcohol so solution becomes blue green so solution of h2cro4 becomes blue green so let us write this is blue green now this is this will not get oxidized so the because this is a ketone so this will not react are getting so let us discuss next so this is d part let us discuss e i think we have copied this one so let us say e in this case you have cyclohexanone so this molecule cyclohexanone and you have one methyl cyclohexanol this molecule how will you differentiate these two can i use now this time uh, lucas reagent of course this is a 3 degree alcohol so lucas test i can have this will not give lucas test but this will give precipitate cloudy precipitate less than 1 minute immediate so you can say immediate cloudy so solution becomes cloudy immediately this immediate means less than 1 minute so when i say immediate this means this is less than 1 minute so this forms a cloudy precipitate less than 1 minute if i use lucas reason are you getting or not so this is all about the test of different alcohol if you have a primary alcohol you can use oxidation method you have secondary alcohol again you use oxidation if you have tertiary alcohol try to use lucas reagent so lucas reagent can be used to test alcohol 
and oxidation reactions can also be used because H2CrO4 once it's react with primary alcohol or secondary alcohol its color become blue green so chromic acid can also be used as a test for uh, primary or secondary alcohol tertiary alcohol will not react with chromic acid because tertiary alcohols are resistant to chromic acid for oxidation so tertiary alcohol cannot get oxidized you getting so let us discuss next one i think all of you have copied this one we are going slightly slow so no problem of copying 